844 million people in the world don't have access to clean drinking water. That's one in 10 people. And this is a huge problem that we want to solve. This is our solution. This is the Volturnus ROV, which is a low cost, extremely easy to assemble ROV. This is an underwater robot that anyone can build. And we want to share our ROV in a crowdsourcing campaign to identify bodies of water contaminated by underwater pollution and once and for all, put an end to this, this problem. First, we have two inputs from these USB joysticks. We've stripped the USB shield cable off of it and just soldered mail headers. Uh, these two joysticks control two motors each. Uh, these go into these two saber tooth motor controllers. They can take up to five amps uh, per motor. And then it, it goes right into this uh, motor simulation board. What's really nice about it is it provides a nice uh, use input output interface so you can easily add another uh, claw, uh, a motor for a claw and just really be able to plug and play your tether. Now we have our eight wires for our tether. Um, it goes down through this uh, cable. Each wire is 26 gauge, 26 AWG. And then go th it goes through this 33 foot tether and then into this <coughs> tether management cross. This waterproofs uh, the connection between the tether and the wires on the motor. Basically how we've waterproofed it is we've heat shrink wrapped it and put uh, three layers of epoxy. Then we get to the motors themselves. We have four bilge pump motors rated at 500 GPH. So they provide you know a decent amount of power for moving back and forth. And then we have our two ballasts. We reused Arizona iced tea bottles. It's very environmentally friendly and they work. And then finally, we have our water sampling device. It's basically a plastic water bottle, and uh, what the ROV does is it sinks below surface and then comes back up, and then we have our sample of dirty water to test for uh, contamination in our UV light experiment. Our ROV is able to take samples of the body of water it is operating in, allowing a team to further analyze it in a lab. This sample of dirty lake water has been contaminated by OBAs, a chemical found commonly in laundry detergents and other household cleaning products. When improperly disposed of, these chemicals can end up in lakes, rivers, streams, and other bodies of water, causing harm to the environment. When a UV light is shined upon OBAs, the chemical lights up with a neon bright color, making them easily distinguishable from surrounding substances. By using a cotton pad dipped in the sample of lake water, we are able to determine the intensity and the presence of its contamination. As you can see, there is a bright neon color. about our ROV is that it's made out of completely environmentally friendly materials. You see that we've recycled uh, water bottles, we've used uh, environmentally friendly duct tape, we've used PVC, we've really used things that you can really find in your basement. And that's what's unique about our ROV is that you can basically build it out of your basement and it's completely environmentally free. Um, it's one foot by one foot by 1.5 foot, so it's it can reach uh, hard, small, hard to reach places. It also has an intuitive control scheme, so uh, an, an operator can easily pick up how to operate the ROV. And um, yeah.